Morning, literally, uh, I've just woken up. It's day 20. I just wanted to show you around where I stayed last night. In the last video, I mentioned that I was looking for somewhere to camp or a hotel or something. I call them hotels, but obviously they're very small and simple here. Um, people kind of laugh when I say hotel, but they know the word hotel. Um, so yeah, a family kind of took me in for the night, fed me. Um, they have a spare room with which just had a load of boxes on the bed. They just moved stuff out of the way. So I had my own room. So I'll just show you around. There's two beds in here. So this is one, and this is where I stayed. So this is pretty standard. This is, I'll show you, I've spoken about the beds here before. Solid wood. And then this is the mattress. Uh, actually, this this bed has got this this on it as well. It's But it, it's pretty firm when you're on it. So I, I just put my mattress underneath all that and it's totally fine. The pillows are rock solid as well. <laughs> um, they've got a little kind of shrine thing here. They said that these two people are basically the, the last generations, uh, the previous generations of the family. I've got my kits out here. I kind of, in situations like this, I basically find a little spot like this and make sure that everything, all my kit is on here rather than all about the room where it's easy to forget. Uh, and so the view. This is what you get coming out. <laughs> Amazing place. There's some people woken up there. No sign recording. Got some corn, or well, some maize drying here. So I found myself a little lunch spot. I've been going along this kind of track for a couple of hours, I guess. And there's been no water, I've been due a break. I found a little stream, so I filled up with water. I've got myself some noodles on the go. So yeah, that should take about 20, 30 minutes. The opportunity to take my shoes off, my socks off, let my feet breathe. Pretty painful today, um, but manageable. And then onwards from here, not too far away from where I am meeting the man that's, that um, waved me goodbye at the start, uh, a man named Man. Uh, I'm probably about two days away from there and there are plenty of nice hotels there. I'm going to take a, a zero mileage day there. I'm, I'm very much due for a good rest. I'm looking for a place to stay. Uh, I'm asking, when I get into these like little villages, I, I don't really rely on my map anymore because these villages aren't really on my map. Um, so I just ask around. Uh, everyone tends to understand the word hotel and hotel means different things. It's not really the kind of uh, Western understanding of a hotel. It's just some, a, some sort of accommodation. Um, so I think they, apparently it's 5K to the next little village where there's a good hotel. So every one that I ask about uh, which direction it is and how far it is to get to the village that has a few good, apparently, hotels, uh, they all say different things, ranging from two kilometers to 15 kilometers. Um, but people have been mentioning a shortcut and <laughs> it's very, every time I ask for directions, basically it's so difficult, you know, for them to understand what I'm trying to get across for me to understand them as well. Um, so many times I've basically gone the wrong way or um, misunderstood some directions or, or, some, or, or mostly distances rather than directions. Um, they tend to vary quite a lot. Um, but I'm on the shortcut and hopefully this is going to be it. The sun's going down. There's about 40 minutes of sunlight left and they said it's half an hour on the shortcut. So it should be okay if I go the right way. Looking good so far. The shortcut through the jungle has turned into a shortcut through a forest, which looks pretty cool. I've not seen many just forests. It's normally trees with kind of undergrowth, like 
uh, more jungle than trees. Uh, so it's quite nice. The sun's going down, it's nice and cool. Uh, I feel good. I felt a little bit lazy and was considering a hotel about 23k into today. I am feeling tired. I, I really need uh, a proper rest day. Uh, so I got myself a bottle of sugary uh, drink as kind of recovery for the end of the evening. And then someone mentioned that there's a hotel, there's like a, a bigger town further up. So I thought I'll press ahead there. Most people said it's like three kilometers, something like that. I've been going for uh, seven now. I'm not there yet. I think it's another kind of three or five. Um, that's within that's within the uh, scope of error in uh, direction giving or understanding here. Probably my fault. I was thinking like, yeah, locals tend to say, you know, sometimes I walk down the street and someone will say it's one kilometer that way. Someone will say it's five. Someone will say it's 10. Um, I'm sure some of it is just a misunderstanding, but, but also um, maybe they just don't know. Uh, I live in Birmingham, on the outskirts of Birmingham. I've got no idea how many kilometers it is to the center of Birmingham. And if someone asks, does that mean to the outskirts of the center? Like when you first hit the center or the actual center? And um, I'm with the GPS and my map, um, my, my route mapped out. I'm used to using pretty accurate distances, you know. If I look at the map, I could be like, right, it's 1.4 kilometers down the road, 1.5. Um, but obviously, people that live here, they just know it's like 10 minutes that way or whatever. Um, maybe it's just me, but... Uh, so I have to, when I ask directions, I have to assume it could be half what they say. It could be two times, three times. Uh, it's just a very general rough kind of guide.